everyone welcome back to another counter side episode so this episode we are going to review uh lee jisoo and her build but before that if you wanted updated counter side videos please hit the subscribe button down below okay so for those of you who have finished this uh link event circuit link system or the bingo system event you guys will be getting the final reward of Lee Jisoo, which actually I have. So let's move on to her build and review this uh, this unit. Okay, so for Lee Jisoo, I have gotten her ready to level 70. So she is in SSR. She's an awakened unit. So she's an awakened supporter. And her deployment cost is 5, which is pretty much very heavy. But let's see if that 5 justifies her cost. She is a ground type and she is a ground attacker. Okay, so let's move on to her stats. So for Lee Jisoo's stats, we have here combat power of 10,024. This is actually based on the maximum that she will have. I think this will be this is based at level 100 HP max is 62,083 which is actually very high her attack is 3,454 which is actually below average her defense is 846 which is above average her crit is at 157 which is low her hit rate is 291 which is actually also low and her evasion is above average at 926 so more or less um your build for her is going to be she's a support so she has to stay in the battlefield we'll discuss that later in our gearing for her but before that let's go to her skills so for her skill so lee jisoo skill info basic attack basic skill so valid two hits, which actually she swings in a big arc. Uh, swings her sword uh, sheath, sheath, sheath and unleashes it, inflicting AoE damage on enemies in the front. Okay, so basic attack from level 2 to 5 is going to increase a 5% per level, which has a total increase of 20%. Next is her passive skill, which is actually a healing prevention. So it's a spell, sorry, spell healing prevention. Surrounds the field with her magic power while she's alive. So she has a, um, a like a global effect in terms of the field when she's in the battlefield. Then when she's alive, enemy units healing, healing amounts are permanently decreased by 75%. Okay, let's talk about this for a while because I've had um, a while to test more or less my PvP team in um, in rank, and I noticed that when um, when healers are on the battlefield, they really provide a big uh, you know a big uh, difference in terms of overall you know overall sustainability survivability. First, uh, Evelyn Keller was banned. Then I think for this week. Uh, I think I saw a couple of Claudia Nelson and especially um, uh, Chinatsu, sorry, Chinatsu, sorry, Nanahara Chinatsu. I, I, I keep on forgetting her name. So more or less, again, she would be a good counter to that healing bunch. So again, it would be worthwhile for you to, to build her. What if you have her and you have your own healer? That would be great, actually. Because again, this would prevent your opponent from healing while you are continuously healing for your team. So again, very good passive skill. You don't have to activate anything. She has to be alive in the battlefield for this to take effect. And also apart from that uh, permanently decrease in heal, enemy rangers, strikers, and snipers, attack speed is decreased by 15. So again... As long as she's alive, her passive skill is running. Um, also, for her passive from level 2 to 4, there's a um, bump in HP, a plus. So, level 2 plus 5, level 3 plus 5, level 4 is plus 10%. And at level 5, attack speed, instead of 15% decrease, there's going to be a negative 25 decrease. Okay. So, again, very good, very good unit. I may say that it could really support your team. Um, I think she's she. I think most 
people think she's underrated and over, you know, sorry, overrated. But I think um, she is going to be good for your teams. Let's move on to her special skill. So it's going to be Seal. So it's Annihilation. It has 20 seconds for cooldown. Valid hit hits is at 2. Draws her weapon with lightning speed, afflicting AoE damage that the last attack decreases its target's attack by 20% for 10 seconds. Again, this would be a valuable support behind a defender. She can really deal the, this skill uh, in, 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 in lowering the attack of the opponents on the other side. This special skill actually has uh, five level, uh, is up to five levels as well. From level two to four, damage increases by five percent, five percent, and last is damage is going to be fifteen percent for the skill. And for level five, the cooldown is minus four, so it goes down to sixteen seconds only. The last, which is the ultimate skill, Forbidden Knight of Curses, it has a forty-six second um, cooldown. Valid hits is three. So musters up her strength and charges, inflicting AoE damage. This skill's first attack cancels all its target's non-permanent buffs. Okay, and disables new buffs on them for 15 seconds. Again, she is actually a very good debuffer, and um, I can't say more about her. She just has to, you know, be built and be tested. I, I hope to build mine soon. I just got her today, and. Uh, if the deb if the debuff target dies, her de her defense increases by ten percent up to fifty percent. So again, um, this stacks um, the 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 ten percent for her defense. And levels three and four, it's a damage increase of five, five, and fifteen. At level five, debuff for forty five seconds, and her buff effect changes to permanent, which is actually really really crazy. Okay, so let's move on to her gear. Okay, so for my Li Jisu, more or less, I just put in there a couple of gears. I'm, I'm not still final in her build. But again, um, we have to consider her gear in terms of um, in terms of gear options and set options as well. So more or less for set options, you can actually go with evasion. You can go with health or you can go with defense. Um, priority, I think, would go to defense or to evasion because her, her HP is really high. Unless you want to bump up that HP more, well, be my guest. But again, um, those are more or less the set recommendations that I would recommend. And also for the gear options, I would also recommend... Um, this is not going to be a tax. But these are just gears that I put in. <coughs> not also anti-air. So either you put in her is not even anti-ranger, you put anti-ground damage resistance or critical damage resistance for, for more survivability for her. She doesn't really need to deal that much damage, if, if I may say. She is there actually for her passive and her support, her debuffs uh, for the enemy so that he she can actually more or less keep them at bay and more or less... Um, her gear will, will play a big part in her survivability. Uh, for me, I would, I think, prefer um, health plus probably evasion if I finally unlock her fourth gear slot. But more or less, those are, that those are your options for her gear once you have her. Okay, so let's have it in practice mode while we see her skills. And deployment strategy for her would be um actually her animation in terms of deployment is actually long that is why she has to be deployed more or less after a bunch of defenders or strikers are in the front because again when she attacks she is actually very near the opponent let's actually summon a couple of uh, ground units so more or less and on the AI so more or less again she will be in front if she doesn't take care of herself so more or less again she needs to have a defender in front of her and or more or less a striker in front of her so let's use her ultimate skill you cannot actually control if she moves forward or back so more or less again you just have to put somebody 
in between her and the opponent in front for her to survive again the gears are actually a big uh, big portion in terms of how to build her so more or less as for deployment she has to just to be redeployed but again at five cost i would suggest that you take care of her on her first deployment and probably don't deploy her as much as possible make sure that she is survival uh, sur sur make sure that she survives well enough to survive at least half of the battle to give you guys a chance to advance versus your opponents let's take a look at her auto bit skill again more or less her skill um very nice very clean very good animations um her strike in from sheath to the slashing is actually good like a samurai would do it and more or less very nice attack one one leg uh in front then attack then let's use let's try to use her skill i haven't used her skill yeah so that's it so more or less that is her deployment strategy okay so my final thoughts for her um for her value to be you know in terms of return of investment if you're going to pay five deployment cost for her you might as well keep her in the battle that long so again survivability plays a key role here she doesn't have to have the highest attack crit rate and hit rate all you need to make sure that she has good very high hp uh probably increase her defense and evasion uh because more or less she will do it for you and also in terms of deployment she has to be the last in a bunch of people in front of her because again um it's really crucial that um she buys enough time um to give your team a chance to at least um chop off the bit of your opponents in front uh and also ha have her have her that so that she can have the ability to absorb as much damage as possible because again she is a support character and for her to work her passive has to be in play she has to be in play as well and also her skills actually have to work and also her ultimate skill okay so those are my final thoughts for her very very good unit um more or less it would depend on your on your deployment on how you play her uh, in terms of her survivability but again if you know how to deploy her where in the battlefield she is definitely a good unit or hero or counter to depend on in terms of debuffs for your team okay guys if you have reached the end of this video i hope you consider subscribing uh this helps my channel uh, very much again i am 29 subscribers short of uh, 1000 subs so again for those who have been supporting me thank you very much keep supporting me uh, i'm nearing uh, 1000 subs so more or less um, if you're subscribing as well don't forget to click the bell icon for future counter side videos also guys um, if you have comments on this video please put them down below take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out here